I decided to do a video on this light because when I looked up the information about it, there wasn't any content on it, so I felt this would be a good review. The company Reef Breeders occupies a unique space in the saltwater equipment realm. They are a mid-price pr point manufacturer who is based in the U.S. Though their product lacks features of high-end products, they offer superior quality when compared to the imports from China. This light comes in three flavors. First is the saltwater reef setup with mostly blue LEDs and one white. Next is the refugium light, which is heavy on the red and one blue LED. This light is designed to go macro algae in the fuge for nutrient export. Lastly, and the one I'm reviewing, is the display fuge, which consists of two 3500 Kelvin and two 6500 Kelvin and one blue LED. This produces clean white light that is designed for a display refugium. Reef Breeders claims that this LED combination makes the red and blue macro shine. The Pico LED produces 8 watts of power. Reef Breeder claims they use 3 watt LEDs but run them at 1 watt for increased LED life. The spread of this light is stated at 15 inches but I believe a 12 by 12 cube is more realistic. It comes with supplied gooseneck mount and the power cord runs inside it for a nice clean look. As I said earlier, Reef Breeder products will lack some of the features of the higher end lights like controllability and Bluetooth connection to an app. The light has a simple on off switch but if you pair it with a Bluetooth plug-in you can easily have controllability. That's what I did. Let's get to the unboxing. The box is nice and pleasing to look at. Inside the light is just packaged with some plastic, no styrofoam or cutouts. This is probably a way for reef breeders to save on cost. The light feels solid and has a good amount of weight. This probably contains a heat sink to cool the LEDs. There is no fan, which is one less thing to break or clean. The LEDs and the lens appear to be of high quality with gl great clarity on the lenses. The light and the gooseneck have a black rubberized coating which should help it stand up to the hard saltwater environment that it's going to be in. The mount in the aquarium is made of a thick plastic that should fit over any pico tank even one with a rim. Here is the light set up on my three gallon algae tank. The tank is 12 inches wide on top and 10 inches from front to back. I like the clean look of the light on the tank and it looks like it will provide adequate light to grow macroalgae. I will give the tank an update in three months and we'll see how it's done. The spectrum of the light is clean white light, not yellow. The spectrum is what you would get on a freshwater full spectrum light. Many of the tanks that I've seen that grow macroalgae use a freshwater planted light. One question I have when buying products, especially lights designed for freshwater, are they designed to stand up to saltwater? I know that this light is designed with a saltwater environment in mind. This is one of the major reasons I went with this light over one designed for a freshwater planted tank. Here is the Dragon's Breath macroalgae under an AI Prime HD. The light is running a bluer spectrum than the reef beaters. The tips are fluorescing and it looks a nice deep color. This is the Dragon's Breath under the reef beaters light. The macroalgae looks a nice bright red under the wider spectrum. It looks crisper and more natural, which I like. The tips still fluoresce, but not as much under the blue spectrum as the prime. Because this tank is going to be a macroalgae tank, a wider light is preferred. The blue LED allows for the fluorescent tips which is needed, and you would not get that from a typical planted tank light, especially a budget one. I am happy with my purchase with the Reef Breeders Pico Display Macroalgae LED. The build quality is good. The light looks modern and clean. I like the fact that the cord runs through the mount and is included in the package. The price is about half to a third of some of the higher end reef lighting that you might use over a Pico tank. Yes, it does lack some of the connectivity and timer features, but there are workarounds for that. Yes, you can get a light for a Pico tank for about half that price on from Amazon but you'll be sacrificing build quality, the color, spectrum, and warranty from a company located in the USA. I plan on doing a tank update in about three months. I will update my view on this light then. This was not a sponsored video. I paid for the light with my own money and providing a review of the light, which you may be thinking about purchasing. So, you're welcome. So if you like what you've seen and heard, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment or a question if you have one, and subscribe if you'd like to see the future content. God bless you and God bless America.